adults grew up watching Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner. In this classic cartoon, Wile E. Coyote is constantly chasing Roadrunner, constantly devising plots to trap and then kill Roadrunner, and never succeeding. Giggling at his foiled plans, we learn Coyote is conniving, devious, and constantly hungry. So what does this cartoon have to do with my research? In my research, I study perceptions of coyotes in a mixed rural suburban landscape of Alberta, the Foothills Parkland region. A case study, I'm hoping to understand why humans are so prone to violence towards coyotes. Currently, it is estimated that over 500,000 coyotes are killed annually in North America. This comes out to roughly one coyote killed per minute. So we can estimate by the end of this talk that three coyotes will have been killed. And the thing is, the science doesn't support the killing. Coyotes breed in a compensatory manner, meaning that when members of a pack are killed, more members in that pack will breed and actually have larger litter sizes. Furthermore, when a coyotes are killed at random, the social hierarchy of the pack is disrupted, causing younger coyotes who are less skilled at hunting to look for easier food sources, such as backyard fruit trees or potentially young livestock, ultimately increasing conflict. So if killing coyotes doesn't reduce conflict, then why are we doing it? And here, I think we should return to our friend Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote is, after all, not a real coyote, but a representation of one. Representations or a visual, audio, or written depiction of something or someone are essential to the way that we understand the world. Kellner, a communications expert, stated that representations provide the materials for constructing our views of the world, behaviors, and even identities. So if we hear in conversations and we watch in cartoons that coyotes are a threat to our well-being, something to fear that we must control, then it follows that in certain human communities, we might learn to kill coyotes. In my study, I want to understand how members of the Foothill Parkland community perceive coyotes. We interviewed over 50 participants, asking them questions such as, what words would you use to describe a coyote? Or what makes you believe you need to kill a coyote? My research aims to identify the representations that lead us to believe that we must live in fear of our coyote neighbor, that we must control them and ultimately destroy them. Identifying these representations, I wanna challenge the tradition of killing coyotes. Working with members of the Foothill Parkland community, we can educate, replacing these representations with ones that are more inclusive, saving coyote lives, and making our communities kinder and more empathetic places. Thank you.